In this video, I'm going to sh talk about six cases where a function is not differentiable at. We are going to take a look at these six cases from a graphical standpoint. So for my first case where a function is not differentiable. When a function is not continuous, the function is not differentiable at that point. So we could have a jump or a hole going on. So in this first example right here, I have a jump going on at x equals 3. So the function is not differentiable at x equals 3. In this example right here, we have a hole at x equals negative 1. And so therefore, the function is not differentiable at x equals negative 1. Another case of, of discontinuity would be when a function has unbounded behavior or an infinite discontinuity. All right, obviously there's a discontinuity here, so the function is not differentiable at x equals 0, but it's due to the infinite discontinuity or that unbounded behavior of the graph. As a third case, when a function has a sharp point or a cusp, then it is not differentiable at that point. So the absolute value of x has the cusp at x equals 0. So the function is not differentiable at x equals 0 because of the cusp. In the next example, when the function cannot be defined, then the derivative cannot exist. So for this example, I've got y equals the square root of x. All right, so in working with real functions, the square root function cannot be defined for negative numbers. So therefore, the derivative would not, e uh, would not exist for anything less of x less than 0. In my next example, we have a vertical tangent line. When the function itself can be defined, but its derivative is either infinite or does not exist, then the derivative does not exist at that point. This is the function of y equals the cube root of x at 0, x equals 0. We have a vertical tangent line to the function y equals the cube root of x. Therefore, because I've got the vertical tangent line at x equals 0, the function is not differentiable at x equals 0. And in the last example, we have an example of oscillating behavior. When the function can be defined and is a nicely defined function, but it just wiggles so much, then it has no derivative. So the function y equals sine of 1 over x, all right, is pictured here. And we've got the oscillating behavior occurring as we approach 0. So therefore, at x equals 0, the derivative does not exist because of the oscillating behavior. So there's six different cases or scenarios where the derivative does not exist um, from a graphical standpoint. Definitely thanks for watching. Try to remember these six cases because they come up a lot. Be sure and give me a thumbs up and share with your friends. Thanks.